today we're going to be starting our watercolor unit back up where we're going to be applying value and color uh, to create our bell pepper drawing. And in preparation for that, we're going to be t um, testing out and trying some different watercolor techniques. So here I already have my paper set up. I have light wash, fade, wet on wet, dry, layers, resist, salt, and straw. So, the first thing I'm going to do, for layers, I have to have some paint down that's already dry. So I'm going to go ahead and just put down a layer for that, a layer of paint, so that I can give that time to draw. Remember, our watercolors always have enough water in them. I should never be digging into the palette. And it's very important that I wash my brush off before I go into a different color to keep all those colors clean. So I've gone ahead and put down a layer of yellow so that that can dry and I can go on top of that. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to come up here and do a light wash. So I'm going to come over to my water, load my brush with enough water, come over here to one of my colors. With this one, we need to make sure that it's a light wash, not a heavy wash. So I've gotten some colors, and I'm going to just dip it a little bit back into that water to kind of make that a little bit lighter. Remember, the more water you have with watercolor, the lighter it will be. So with this, I'm trying to get an even wash. I don't want to see my brush strokes. So that is my light wash. Pretty simple. When, as that dries, it's going to get a little bit more solid. And you'll see all the watercolors kind of disperse and even out. Now I'm going to work on my fade. So for my fade, I'm creating a gradation from dark to light, like with our values. This one's an important step so that you know how to do what we're going to be doing with the bell peppers. So I'm putting water on my brush, but not too much. And I'm going to come over here to one of my colors. I'm choosing blue. I want it to start out dark so I don't have that much water. I'm still not digging ever because it is watercolor, but it'll be a little darker. I'm going to actually do this at a tilt. Not too much of a tilt because then it will run but I do want them to fade into each other. So I just put down my blue, get it pretty dark, and then I'm going to just dip my brush back into my water just a little bit. Dip it again, kind of dab it off on the side a little bit. Dip it again, get some of that blue off, a little more water. Dip it again. The more I dip it, without going back to my paint, the lighter it will become. So there you see that I have a fade. Because I've done this at a little bit of a tilt, it started at dark and it's kind of run into each other and really blended nicely. Now I can go back and darken this if I want to. I can always go back and darken, but it's harder to lighten it up. And we'll do this at a tilt. You can always go back. And there you go. You have a nice fade from one value to another. This is our shadow. This would be our highlight. So now I'm going to do a wet on wet. I'm going to start with clear water. I don't have any color on my brush, just clear water. This is called a wash. Whoops, I got a little bit of purple into that. That's okay, we'll use purple. So I have a light wash of clear, and now I'm going to go back with some blue. You can see that when I tap it to that, because it has a layer of clear on it, clear water, it kind of disperses, it kind of bleeds like, like tie-dye almost. I can also do this with color. So let's say I have 
some orange and now I can go down with and put some red in there. I can do that in spots and you'll see how it kind of bleeds or I can blend them right on the page like so, wet on wet. Now we'll go over to our dry. For this I want a totally dry brush. In fact, I'll come over here and clean it off on a sheet of paper. Or not a sheet of paper, I'm sorry, paper towel. I have a totally dry brush. And I'm going to go into some color. I don't want too much water, so make sure that there's not a big pool of water in your well. And I can dry brush. There are lots of different ways that you can do that. So you see that that has, maybe you want to do some grass, maybe you want some texture somewhere, so you can create some dry brush. Alright, now we'll go down to the resist method.